Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is installing CentOS. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Thank you. Okay guys, welcome back. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is installing CentOS. So you can go to www.centos.org slash download to download the ISO. And once you click on CentOS Linux uh, DVD, it's gonna bring you to a page with all the mirroring, all the mirrors of the, of the downloads. So I already have this downloaded. So you can just choose whatever one is closest to you uh, and you know go from there. There's a, there's a, there's a boatload of them. So, you know, if you're in the U.S., uh, like I'm in Miami, so I just use this one. It literally took me five minutes to download. So that's where you go to get the ISO. And I'll put the link in the description below. So check that out. All right. So we're going to be doing this today in VirtualBox. So I want to go ahead and create a new virtual machine. So if you have the download, because um, I've gotten a few requests of some people are trying to install these operating systems on physical machines. So what you can do, let me see if I have Rufus. Rufus. No, but let's go to the internet and I'm just gonna, I wanna show you guys really quick how to actually download and this is here. It was just on a different page, a different monitor, I'm sorry. So you just go to rufus.ie and this little tool will create a USB bootable. So with that being said, uh, I, I use this application. So I, try, I just downloaded it. Let's go to downloads, Rufus. So if we execute Rufus, right? And let me hit yes there. And minimize everything and you want to check no I don't want to check for updates so this is the application that you would get so you would have like a little USB I don't have a USB around here do I uh, yeah I do right here so there's a little USB I actually have Windows Windows 10 Pro on here so you just take this little USB you plug it into your laptop your desktop and I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to format this but once you, um, you know what, what I'll do is I'll plug it in so you can see it, right? So let's go to computer really quick. I just want to show you guys because I'm getting a lot of uh, questions that I just want to answer so, to make some clarity. So you, you see I have C, D, and E here. So I want to plug this in right now into a USB port. Let's turn this on. Bada bing. Boy, I can hear it. So no I don't want to. so well maybe I don't have it but let's see let's see what I have on here so um, let's minimize this all right so right here is the F drive okay so this will come up and then ISO and we'll select the ISO and you'll browse to wherever you're let me actually sit down so you can see my big head um, the CentOS in this case. If you want to do it with Parrot, Kali, Mint, and you know, Ubuntu, Ubuntu server, any kind of machine, it's the same concept, same way. So you just select the ISO and hit open. And then you hit start. Once you hit start, this will actually format and then I'll go through the process of making this USB bootable. I want to close that because I don't want to do that. I want to take this out so I don't ruin my my pretty USB. Um, so I leave that there. So, and then once that's done, then you have to go into your BIOS and maybe depending on your machine, hit F2, F1, or F11, depending, and you'll get to like your boot options. And then you select the, the primary boot device as your USB, and then you should see what we're gonna see now, all right? So that's that process, all right? Hopefully you guys followed. If you have any questions, just hit me up. All right, so I want to hit new here. I want to create a new VM and I want to put sent OS, sent OS 8. That's what we're going to be utilizing. And it's a flavor of Red Hat, so we're all good there. 
and that's all good. Let's hit next. Um, as far as memory, I can put, uh, let's put wherever it stops, right? I'll put 11 gigs. It doesn't really matter because it's just a, a test and we'll, I'll probably end up deleting it in about a week anyway after playing with it. So I want to hit create. VDI is fine. Create. Dynamic allocated, that's fine. That means it's going to expand as needed. Not, It's not going to be uh, fixed. All right. So as far as my disk size, I'm going to put, uh, I'll make it. Uh, I'll make it oh, 70 gigs. 70. All right, that's fine. All right. So now this CentOS is here. Now what we'll do is power it up. So I just double clicked on it accidentally. So it's going to probably boot up now. Give it a second to open. And now we're going to browse. If, you, if you're using VirtualBox, you can follow these exact steps. You, you know, I have virtual, um, VMware Workstation 2, but I have a lot of VMs in here as well. I apologize for that. Um, so, but I, for Linux stuff, I like using um, VirtualBox. All right, so that's what we're using here. So this is, this is, this is the, the prompt. So what we'll do is browse to our image for CentOS, which is in our download folder. In my case, it's in my downloads, CentOS 8.1. All right, we're gonna open that and hit start, okay? And now if you have the capture, if you have the, um, the, the USB plugged in, this is the same exact screen. So in this case, I wanna put install CentOS 8, Linux 8, and hit enter. All right, let me get out of here. Let me see if I can make this bigger so you don't have to see uh, what's going on. There we go. Oh, shoot. There we go. I'm just going to make a big screen for now. So, like I said, this is pretty much a flavor of a Red Hat. Um, there's a, a lot of things you can do with CentOS. It's an, it's an, awesome, it's an awesome server distro. And... Uh, I recommend you can you know you can install it as your on your laptop on your desktop as a primary um, OS if you don't want to use it as a, a server GUI or just a server in general and we'll go through that setup and I'll show you I believe it's somewhere during the setup where you can choose and uh, I'll point it out once I uh, once I get to it All right cool so obviously English is my my language and I'm in the US that's fine I want to hit continue here. All right, so my keyboard layout is US, my language is English, my date and time, that's fine, is New York Americans. Installation media, let's look at that. This, is, should, should, this should be fine because I'm installing it from the DVD, so that's perfectly fine. Hit done. Software selections, this is what I was just talking about. So the base environment, I'm gonna do server with GUI, okay? But you can actually, additional software for your environment. You can make this Windows file server. You know, you can, you can install debugging tools, file and storage server, so you can create NFS shares, iSCSI, et cetera, et cetera, for as far as a network storage server, FTP server. Um, I think there's some programming stuff in here as well. Um, you know, virtualization hypervisor, virtualization tools, basic web server so we'll probably install like apache and the whole lamp system um so on the left hand side here for the base uh for the base environment we're going to be doing like i said server with gui where you can just make it a server you can make it a minimal install you can make it a workstation that's what i mean you can install it on your laptop or your pc and you can customize the os or you can just make it a virtual virtualization host with you know minimal um virtualization holes, okay? So just choose choose wisely however you like your environment to be and you should be golden, all right? Cool, let's hit done now. And then for system, now we're on system, so installation destination. So this is gonna be either your internal HD, your internal hard drive, your internal SSD, internal flash, however you guys are gonna install this, or in this case, we're gonna be installing it in VirtualBox. So 
I'm just going to select my virtual box partition, which is the 80 gigs that I just created. All right, everything else is fine. Okay, let's see, rescan this. Let's, let's see if this, okay, bada bing, bada boom. Click here, done. Okay, why isn't it choosing? Uh, unselected. Okay, automatic. Okay, here we go. That's fine. That was weird. Um, but automatic storage, I do not want to encrypt my data at this, at this, you know, at this very time. So let's hit done here. Now this should go golden. Okay, the exclamation point went away. K dump is already installed. All right, so network and host. So here, by default, it's turned off, right? So this is a virtual NIC. And by default, I didn't change. I'm going to show you something as well with the networking. Let me get out of this for a second. Uh, let's get out of this. So on my machine, if I go to settings, I, I believe I said this in multiple videos. So it's attached to the NAT network. I have my own network set up. If I go here, InfoSec Pat, but I want to show you, I want to leave it on NAT right now. So if we turn this on, it's going to go to like a 10.0.2 network, I believe. Let's, let's give it a go. Yep, 10.0.2.15 slash 24. This is the default um, IP scheme in VirtualBox. So that's, if you don't select this, um, I've done this in the past. I didn't select this, I installed it, blah, 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 next, 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 you know, eager beaver. And I'm like, my thing's not getting on the internet. You know what I mean? It's not enabled. Obviously I was able to fix it because I was able to get into the settings and do it, but this makes things easier. So once you, you, you can do the updates, you can get on the internet, you can download stuff and etc. So just don't miss that little piece. All right. So let's go So host name. That's fine. I'm just gonna leave it at, uh, you know what? Let's, let's just change this. I want to put it as sent OS eight. Okay, I'm just going to send OS 8. Let's apply that. All right, so cool deal. So let's hit done here. And now begin installation. So that's pretty much, it's a very sweet little process. For, so for root, root password has not been set. So I'm going to create a root password with my fancy pantsy password. Cool and hit done here. And now this will go through. Um, no, no user will be created. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, let's create a new user. Let's create myself, okay. Patrick, and my username will be Patrick. That's fine, make this user as an administrator. And then I'll make my fancy pantsy password. I'll just make it the same as root because I don't wanna remember too many passwords right now it's very early in the morning and i'm not i'm not up for that it's like 7 30 in the morning where i'm at well, 8 30 sorry so on a sunday morning so this is what i'm doing on a sunday morning before getting my day you know going and figured i'll just make this video this morning so i don't have to be on my computer all day on a sunday but what else is there to do we're, we're quarantined um, like I said, this in multiple videos, that hopefully everyone is safe and, and, and sound and, you know, complying with all the, you know, staying inside and don't spreading this crazy coronavirus and, you know, be safe and stay with your families and however you have to, you know, whatever you have to do to comply, right? So not spread this, this thing and hopefully it's, there's a, hopefully a cure comes soon and this thing can go to bed. But I don't see it happening very soon, but God only knows, right? So, all right, so this is gonna take some time. I'm gonna pause the video here and resume once this is done. Fair enough? Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so this is done. So that took approximately about 10 minutes to complete. So now what we're gonna do is hit reboot so if you see here, CentOS is, was successfully installed and ready to use, go ahead and reboot and start using it. So let's go ahead and reboot and see if we can start using it, All right? What we'll do is, um, try to get out of here. All right, let's uh, see if we can take the media out. 
do, 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 storage, media, uh, remove disk. Okay. Boom. See if I can uh, reboot this. What? Not that. Uh, let's see if we can just reset. Oop. Now let's see if it's a. Uh, here we go. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. So that's how you go ahead and remove the media. And now we'll reboot and hopefully it'll be ready to use. All right, we'll give this a moment. And once it's good, we'll try to log in, get into it, and finish off the video. And hopefully everyone followed along, was patient with the install because it did take about 10 minutes or so. Actually, I stepped away from my computer while I went to get a, some tea. So I was probably downstairs for about three minutes, four or five minutes, whatever. All right, so licensing, licensing not accepted. Please complete the mock. Okay, let's see, let's click the license. I agree and then hit done. And bada bing, finish configuration. And let it go down its merry way. Oh man, fantastico. All right, so let's go ahead and log in. We'll log in with my fancy pantsy password. And sign in. And I'll go in. Once it's done, there we go. So now we have a fully installed CentOS um, server. Okay, next, US, next, privacy, location, that's fine. So, and connect to your online accounts, no thanks. Thank you for offering, skip that. And start using CentOS Linux, thumbs up. So we're ready to go, all right? So that pretty much concludes the video. So well, let's X out of here, that's fine. Um, let me just go to terminal really quick. And I wanna do an at dash get update um, sudo apt dash get update my fancy pantsy password. Uh, so, which is uh, all right. So maybe we just uh, let's see update. Let's go shopping. Let's just check for updates, and then we'll download the updates for the operating system. All right. So there you go. Now we have this installed. This will go ahead and. Um, do its updating. You see here the progress bar. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's not too far along. And I want to go ahead and just do the, o the OS ups updates and Firefox and free Freefront. So that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And until next time, be safe out there with this crazy coronavirus and talk to you soon. If you have any questions, hit me up. Thank you. Restart and update. Adios.